Hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how this glamour lighting setup created these images. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, now is the perfect time to do so because I am still giving away a beautiful backdrop from Kate Backdrop. This is a 1.5 meter by 2 meter collapsible dual-sided non-reflective backdrop and the best thing about this giveaway is that I will make the winner choose the specific design that they want. And to join is very simple, all you have to do is follow the mechanics in the description below. So with that out of the way, what is this setup that I am talking about? Well, basically, these are two Nanlite Pavotube 30Cs and a reflector that, that's usually used for the, for the dashboard of the car. So what are these Nanlite 30Cs? Let me show you. They are basically LED lights that are four feet long. And the nice thing about these LED lights is that it is already diffused, therefore giving you naturally soft light. It is battery operated, but at the same time, it can be powered via an AC outlet. This is an RGB light also, which means that it's got the entire color spectrum. But personally for photography, I'm not really too fond of those colorful images. I only use this for my beauty portraits at 5600 Kelvin. But of course, when I am shooting at night and I have to basically create unseen light where the existing ambient light is tungsten, then it's also a good option to have a bicolor light like this where I can adjust the color temperature. Now, you can see that the light is actually a bit directional, meaning it will go here to the side and here and also in front, but not towards the back. So normally when you are shooting, you want this one facing directly towards the subject. But in this particular layout, I am actually doing it this way. In other words, the focus of the light will be away from the subject. This one is the one that will be hitting the subject. The reason why I want to do that is so that a lot of the light will actually fall on this reflector. So if I put it here, there, this reflector is basically just a, a sunshade that you put in the dashboard of your car and it's just clipped to the light stand using ordinary clips like this. There we go. So the light that's coming from here will be hitting this one and going back to our subject. Now the background that we are using is from Kate Backdrop also. It's a five foot by seven foot hand painted canvas backdrop. And these backdrops I really truly love. Okay, so what camera am I using? So the camera that I'm using is my Sony A7R Mark IV and the lens that I have installed is the 85mm 1.4 GM. The reason why I am using the 85mm is because I might do some tight portraits and 85mm is the one that's going to give me the least distortion. This is actually my favorite portrait lens. Now my camera is mounted on my really right stuff ball head and held together using the Manfrotto 055 tripod. Now everything that you will be seeing from here on end will actually be straight out of the camera because I am recording a live feed. Basically everything that my camera is seeing is being recorded here in my Atomos Ninja 5. So unless I state that it has been edited, everything that you're seeing is again SOOC or straight out of camera. So my camera settings, since I will be using continuous lights today, maybe I will probably shoot an aperture priority like I would normally do when I'm shooting outdoor so that it's very easy for me to adjust the exposure just using my exposure compensation dial. Though I will set my ISO to auto ISO, set my aperture at 1.4, then my shutter speed and ISO, the camera will be dependent on what exposure um, it will give me depending on the type of exposure compensation that I want to do. Now with white balance, I'm leaving it at 5600 Kelvin for now because this one is set at 5600 Kelvin, but most likely I will be adjusting this to about 6400 Kelvin. So we'll do that now. I'll adjust it to 6300 Kelvin instead to make it warmer because I want that golden glow for this particular layout, okay? Now, as you can see, I also have a lot of video lights turned on to shoot this video, but unfortunately, these video lights will actually mix with the lights that are coming from these Pavo tubes. So in order for me to be able to shoot properly, I might, I will have to turn these things off. So you have to bear with us 
with the quality of the video from here on end, okay? So it, I think it's time for me to call in my model. Babe, come on in. Again, of course, babe, you look beautiful. And we'd like to thank our friend Mela Jimenez for virtually assisting Coco put on her makeup today. Yeah, I think, you know, from what I can see now, can you move one tiny step here, right? From what I can see now, the orange tone or the warmer tone does really make this work better. Okay, so let's get into a pose, babe, please. Maybe this way, yeah, perfect. Can you just fix your hair a bit, fluff it a bit? Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. I love that. Give a perfect, beautiful. So right now I'm about one third stop overexposed. I can actually shoot it this way. So the light is positioned this way so that we're basically removing a lot of the shadows. So by doing that, we're creating a really glowing effect on her face. This one is the most important actually because this one is a silver reflector so it gives a lot of specularity back, giving that glow towards her on, on her image. It's actually very beautiful already, babe. For this one, the light is so simple. All you have to do now is fix the posing and you should be good. All right. So yes, there, that's it. I love that. Beautiful, beautiful babe. Open your mouth a little bit. Very nice. How about that particular pose, but face me a bit. There, okay, chin towards me. Nice, nice. Now put your hand here. There, I love that. Beautiful. Close your eyes, part your mouth a bit. There, I love that. Beautiful, babe. I love that a lot. Okay, cool. Now, take a look at me. Good. No, but chin face there first. A little, there, that's it. That's it. Keep that. Okay. How about giving me a little bit more power now? Instead of... Power. Yes. Mm -hmm. How about your body facing here? And then look there. Oh, actually, your body facing here, then just look at me straight. Open up this hand a bit, yeah. Tilt your head a bit. There, that's it, that's it, that's it, hold that. Straighten out your head. Tilt this way, there. Very nice, very nice. Oh, and that's how easy it was. Basically, I just had two LED lights, the Nanlite Pavo Tube 30C, on a triangle formation. Then I had uh, a, just an ordinary reflector. Basically, this is a sunshade reflecting light to open up the shadows here underneath Coco's face. Now, the key here with this light is that I had most of the power directed towards the reflector so that it bounces back, so that it's an even distribution of light. Plus, these Nanlite Pavo tubes inherently are already very soft light. And of course, having a background like this also helps a lot, okay? But the principle is very simple. All you have to do is really flood your subject's face with light and add a little bit of specularity using a silver reflector. Okay, so if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And again, thank you very much, babe. Beautiful, beautiful session again. And if you wanna see more of my images, you can always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.